Alright guys, we're out at Swan Gully for Lockheed's 21st. Uh, we got a pretty mean convoy, a couple of like actual big power patrols, unlike mine, I'm real jealous. Uh, Lockheed's finally got the 75 off-road. Um, it's made its debut trip to Woolies and now she's out at Swan Gully. Whole bunch of changes, just, as I'm sure you've seen in the video, but it looks mean, it sounds awesome, and it did a skid on the way in here, so up the 2H turbo. So with the 75 jump started and running again, we were straight into it with a pretty gnarly rock step that was sure to test out the convoy. Cool. 
<laughs> Take the bar off. Take the bar off. Strange place to park, Lucky. Uh, just waiting for a mate. Um, out here at, um, at Woolworths. Um, just dropping the kids off to get some and groceries. Stalled, and now I won't turn on again. No, nah, we won't. <laughs> yeah, for the video. <laughs> yeah, you got more than enough out of me. Can you just get videos of the dog? Oh, doggo. Hello, dog. <laughs> oh, it's a she. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. She's called Peter. <laughs> Patricia. Come on up.
On the way out of the park, we decided we'd drive one more track for the day. As is so often the case, this ended up causing us a world of problems. Ryan managed to get his BT-50 literally wedged in between a rock and a hard place, and the only way to avoid any more panel damage was to try and reverse straight out while the wheel was jammed at full lock. Unfortunately, the tie rod end and rack end decided they didn't like this and did a big old snap. After a solid half hour scratching our heads at what to do, we decided to stack a bunch of rocks and recovery boards to clear the sills and then winch the car straight up the track. A little bit more oh. passenger. Oh yeah. How's the weather down there, Lacey? Dusty, <laughs> dirty, but not oily for some reason. Ryan, why doesn't your car leak? Yeah, it's working real good. Once it was on flat enough ground, we removed the old tie rod and used two ratchet straps to hold the wheel as straight as we could for the rest of the winch. <laughs> yeah, throw it. No, nah, it's not for your car, don't worry. <laughs> do do? Don't do that. Don't do that, you fucking idiot. You got a ratchet strap. Oh. That would have worked, like. Stop. Alright, okay. um, so awesome day out at Swan Gully. Um, it's pretty cool, tracks driven. Uh, and then. The last one of the day, as it always is, uh, claimed the mighty BT, uh, broke his steering arm, so things didn't quite go as planned, but um, we'll be back tomorrow with the steering arm to fix it, and uh, yeah, should be good fun, but uh, happy birthday, Lockie. Uh, we couldn't get it out yesterday afternoon, so we've had to bring a new tie rod back and just do it on the track. So it'd be a lot easier than trying to get it out of the park, but yeah, Let's see how we go. Hello. Hello, Angus. <laughs> there as well. Mint condition, though, so. <laughs> what was that? Radiator's in the way, I might just drop that one out <laughs> too. Do I just drop the steering rack out? I'm gonna stab myself with the screwdriver. Wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, neither. So it snapped that end, but it's also about to snap snap that end, which like... <laughs> is there something wrong with this one? <laughs> yeah. Or is it? Uh, it's, it's my heart steer. <laughs> it's like you crank the start up. <laughs> Hammer? Yeah. See you later. Yeah, so I finally got it out. I had time and go do an alignment again, which we got done last week. So yeah, should get us home. It's pretty uh -huh. shit for now, but yeah, it'll do. Good. And yeah, enjoy the episode.